those are our final two. But I'm thrilled to uh, introduce Jack Walls, um, artist, poet, who lived with Robert at 35 West 23rd Street until the photographer's death on March 9th, 1989. So here's Jack. Okay. Thanks for coming. Um, Robert and I lived here at 35 West 23rd Street in the late 1980s. Those years were difficult years. I was a heroin addict back then. Robert was dying from AIDS. We did the best that we could during this time. Robert slowly died here. Although he didn't die here, he died in Boston on March 9, 1989. Our life together was far from perfect. We spent seven tumultuous years together. At the time of his death, I had just turned 33 years old. He was 42. These were very dark times for me and for those who lived through them with me. For it seemed as if the whole world was dying. All my friends, friends of friends, friends of friends of friends of friends. Some of these people I never even met, but in death, we were all friends. We felt one another's pain. These were dark times and everyone was dying. Klaus Nomi, Peter Hujar, Bruce Chapman, Cookie Mueller, Keith Herring, Philip Raylo, Donald Kahn, Peter Reed, James Ford, Alistair Butler, Andrew Castro, Eddie Jones, Jim Nelson, and Sam Wagstaff. On and on and on. Now the years have passed. Names are only memories. Robert never got to see how famous he became. Robert is more famous in death than he ever was in life. When Robert died, I felt all alone. When Robert died, I wept. He will forever and always be a part of me. For sacred is the night filled with true love and the beam that radiates in the heart full of precious memories. The click of a shutter, the flash of a strobe, the profile of a flower, the curve of a neck, the magnificent majesty of a long drooping cock, the crash of a wave, a luminous smile, all forever frozen in time, the perfect moment. Thank you.